What's poppin' yo? One of my favorite installments in hip hop is when Cardi B gives her opinion and thoughts and tries to educate people on something that she has no idea what she's talking about. It's happened consistently and every time it's really, really funny and entertaining. So I'm gonna play you guys this clip where she decides to talk about country music, which is an overall W for country music. However, it doesn't make her look like the brightest, but you know, she's not the brightest star in the sky, but she does have her own shine. And I think that's what a lot of people love about her. So we're gonna cut to the clip and then we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. It's not even hip hop anymore. Like it was a couple of years ago, like two years ago, one year ago. Right now it's country music. And I'm like, yo, I asked somebody, how the fuck is country music is getting so big? Like it's taking over Apple music and Apple music is like the biggest streaming platform for hip hop. And somebody told me that the reason why a uh, country music is going so crazy because like you know, like in the middle of America, like those states that like the redneck states, I guess, or the, you know, the Hellman states, you know what I'm saying? Those people used to buy CDs. They used to buy raw CDs. But now those people are downloading music from DSPs and that's why country music is just going nowhere. That's why out of nowhere, you might find somebody that you never ever fucking met, but they're going fucking number one. And it's like, I never heard of this motherfucker before because these, these people, these Country Hillmans used to buy raw CDs and now they're going on. So there you have it. I posted this on IG, which you should follow me on at Hello Yasin. And unlike Cardi B, I will say one thing that I've noticed, especially being an outsider, I don't really listen to country music. If you want to say any country music that I have listened to in my lifetime, it was probably like Taylor Swift albums, like her first and second album, maybe. I listened to those. People were saying those were country. I enjoyed those. But other than that, I didn't really get into the genre. But a lot of other people were giving their opinions in my comment section, which we'll get into. And I like their insight because I know some of these people and they're hip hop first in the sense that that's what they grew up on. But the thing that made me start to recognize the shift was that in hip hop, there were people that, let's say just five years ago, country music was largely a meme. It was kind of like, yo, this genre is just whack. Like whoever likes this is weird. How could someone possibly enjoy this? And now it's lit. And now a lot of people, young people in the cities, which is something that Cardi B just Maybe she's in her own world and she's, this is just normal, obviously. She's successful now. She's around her family. She's probably around other people that are within her industry that have similar interests. So she's not seeing this develop in real time like a lot of other people. But I'm seeing young people that aren't even this quote unquote Hailman demographic that she's talking about that are supporting country music. And she was talking about this whole thing with like, oh no, they used to buy CDs and then now they started like streaming music. That's not entirely it. It's just the consumption is higher. Because because the same thing was happening with hip hop. Hip hop was the highest selling and it was the highest charting and it even had more radio play. So for these states, which is, you know, less population than these main cities, for them to be taking over because they started streaming when streaming is worth less than purchases, I don't think that's the case. And if she was talking about the older audience, which is the people that were used to buying CDs, they're likely still just listening to old country music. So it wouldn't make sense for all of these new country artists to pop up for the younger crowd. That's just naturally how it is. Newer artists, the younger people are going to adopt them first and then slowly older people will adopt them or they'll grow up with them and it becomes like a generational thing. So for Cardi B, I think she missed the mark on this one. However, as ignorant as I am about country music, I'm noticing the shift or I noticed the shift while it was happening. And it's radical. And it doesn't feel like other than some artists in hip hop right now that have a genuine wave where people really mess with them, Playboy Cardi being one, which I'm going to do another video on immediately after this. So it might it might drop before this, not entirely sure. So I kind of want to get into some comments for why people believe this is the case and why I believe this is a great thing for hip hop. Latin music, Latin trap, whatever you want to call it, reggaeton. If that and country music takes top two and even pop music takes top three and hip hop's like back on number four. I think that's a great thing for hip hop. And I'll get into why in a second. So first we'll go into like some of the comments. So we had Taylor Bennett said, Luke is one of his favorite artists. I think he's talking about Luke Bryan. LOL. It's just good. So this guy's a rapper. He's Chance the Rapper's brother, manager. He also raps himself. And this is a person that's primarily originally hip hop. He's giving credit to this. Then we had Gashi, who's a rapper. I did a video on a couple years ago. He said, country music has been on fire because people are actually taking their time to make a great song with great lyrics and aren't selling watered down garbage. It's been the same 
same song over and over again. Last time I cared was when Pop Smoke was alive. After that, it was over. And it hurt too because we all love hip hop. It's just sad how we've allowed so many people to just come in the game and destroy it. Which is, if you think about it, when was the last real wave that happened? And the real artist that people were like, yo, this is... I wouldn't say necessarily like completely original because Pop Smoke had inspirations, but he was doing it to where you could say, okay, this guy's going to take off. And then he passed away. And then what, maybe we had like kind of like Bronx drill, that whole Jacksonville thing was a flash in the pan. So we can't even say that was an authentic movement based on music. And then someone else said, that's not the reason why country is becoming more popular with people that don't even live in those areas. And this is something that I've noticed because they talk about real stuff in their music and it's relatable with middle class while hip hop has been falling off lyrically and stylistically and been repetitive with the guns, jewelry, cars, cars, girls shaking ass. Hip hop's young artists that would be doing well right now are all dead murdered, which is also the case. The reason why I think it's good for hip hop to fall off and it's good for all of us is that. This has always been an underdog genre, and it's only been a couple of years where it's been at the top, and a lot of people got comfortable. Like one video that I don't know if I dropped it yet or not on my main channel, where I kind of talk about Lil Baby and Gunna, and I contrast Gunna's music from before he went in to after he came out, which I think he dropped one of the best albums of 2023. If you take a look at it, the unfortunate reality is that Lil Baby's comfortable. The Baby was even someone that I would say got decently comfortable at the top. So when the genre is doing good, everybody's eating. There's more money to go around. There's less competition. People feel like other genres aren't on their tail and they think it's going to stay like that for forever, probably. Yet, while that was happening, country and reggaeton artists, they were trying to gun for the number one spot. They were creating different type of music, music that was going to resonate with people a lot more. And I think rappers nowadays, they quickly lose sight of where they came from and who their original audience was. And also a lot of rap is the image. And I think the image that country sells is, hey, I'm just like you guys, even when they get really, really popular. It's like, I'm just another one of you guys. They still dress similar to a lot of their audience or the original target market. They're not really show offy, flashy, whereas a lot of rappers, they kind of get on and then they give some people a sour taste in their mouth. They start moving all Hollywood. They start acting like they're better than everyone. They stop relating. And then that's slowly how they fall off. But they don't catch on to it until way later after they had already fallen off. And they're like, oh, shoot, how do we recapture the energy that we once had? Which is something we saw the Migos try to do with Culture 3. And while I think the album was pretty good, you just can't recapture that once you've lost it. And that's something that when I see outside looking in country artists, they seem to resonate well with fans. I'll say Latin trap or like reggaeton artists. They're a little bit more flashy in the sense that they've got the jewelry, they've got the cars and all that stuff too. But they're champ, they're underdogs in the sense that they're championing for a second language to dominate American charts. So it's kind of like, yo, we're out here and we're about to conquer stuff. And that's always been a huge demographic, not just for reggaeton, but in hip hop. Like Spanish speaking audience is a massive audience in hip hop. And that's an audience along with Asians that I felt was always neglected. Like they've always supported a ton. They've always bought a bunch of stuff. They've always been at shows. But the consistent argument around fans in hip hop has always been, oh, white and black, white and black, white and black. And yeah, obviously like black makes sense. That's the originators of the genre. But when you ignore some a group, a massive group like that that's supporting and then their own people come drop some really, really good music and they're supporting them. You can't just look around and be like, oh, what's going on? And that's why I got to give props to YG for collaborating I think it was like that Go Loco song. I'll do. I'll say LA does a better job of that. And maybe even down south, but those songs don't hit as much. But when YG collaborated with, I totally forgot the dude's name. Now, shout out to him though, no disrespect. That was a big move. And that's something that we saw Lil Durk hop on with Morgan Wallen. And I think that was a better look. And I think hip hop fans, we as a whole need to open our minds. And when we're underdogs, I think we're going to support artists more, the ones that are good, that we're like, yo, this person's going to bring us back to the top. So we're slowly falling off, but I think it's a positive thing. I think we're going to get a lot of creativity and I think people are going to shift their way into supporting a lot of more, a lot more of these creative acts. Because if we look at it right now, hip hop pretty much is pop. Like what are the most lit people of this year? Ice Spice, Ski Eat, Sexy Red, new artists, if we're talking about them. And that's pretty much pop music or like what pop was in the sense that people are like, oh, this is, this has no substance. It's just yelling the same thing or rapping, singing the same thing with a hot beat. And it's really catchy and it hits a wide audience, but there's not enough like actual fans of the artist because there's not even a layer of depth to it. Now, I think Sexy Red's a little bit different, although I think we, it gets, I think it gets a lot worse. 
before it can get better. But this is something that I'm really interested in seeing develop. I definitely want to dive more. I was actually talking to a uh, Bob Lamb, if you guys know who he is. Well, most of you probably do. And we were going to do like a pretty interesting video. It's going to be sometime in 2024 where we get a deeper dive into country music and the fans idea and view of hip hop. If they listen to it, what they think about it, what they think about the fans of it. But one thing that we can't ignore is that in my comment section on Instagram, where this is pretty much a hip hop channel and a page, I would have never thought in 2018 that there would be a bunch of people that are like, yeah, you know, I mess with hip hop, but yo, this country music just hits. I mess with it. This is a reality I couldn't even fathom. So things have changed and rappers better shape up. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.